So the Delta Force in full force. And I bet the Brickyard is watching as well, hoping for out a victory here for both teams. The third time the charm is the third time these two teams have met and we're off and running. Portillo with that left foot is just so strong towards that post and just high. And how does Ferrara not put that home? From point blank, Heiner Ferrara had the first goal, and I don't know how it went up 100 feet in the air instead. Tyson, I think, headed this on. Let's see this on the replay, but Ferrara is pretty much underneath the crossbar here, and it still somehow goes over. It's flicked on, and it's off his oh. knee and over the bar. And I said, Jason, the oh goal my. was imminent, and... Streaking forward on the right. Stevens looking. Heidemann! Oh! And what a save! Brilliant save by John Bush. That is a stellar save from the veteran goalkeeper. Heidemann put that on target. This is top draw from John Bush. What a ball from Stevens and Heidemann had it. Oh. I, think he did. I think he got maybe a fingertip to it. And here's a chance and a goal! And right there, Indy gets up first level. Palmer makes it 1-0 for the team from Indianapolis. And that is not the way you thought this match would go with the way the Deltas were playing. But in the last five minutes, Indy has been on the attack. And Lovell Palmer finds the back of the net. They were so pleased to have the big man back. And the Indy 11 against the run of play have taken the lead here, Jason. The keys are Eamon Zayed came so close to scoring just moments ago. But with the, with the danger not fully dealt with yet, the, the Deltas are slow to get back on track. And Lovell Palmer gets behind Tyson, strikes it sweetly first time to give the Indy 11 the lead here, Jason. Unbelievable start to the second half, just about 10 minutes in. The hard time the US Open Cup against the Dragons came back late to yep. score two. Yep. They, are, they had, scored late against Phoenix. Maybe they've turned into the team that come in late. Ring! We'll oh! Ring it in! Brad Ring with a laser. Pass Pazer for the second goal for Indy 11. What a finish. The Deltas are in absolute shock because they weren't ready. That's twice now on the two goals where they've been basically less standing. And Brad Ring, as I said, rings at home. And it's 2-0 Indy 11. And now they're 12 minutes in change away from their first victory. He's a chance to shoot on goal, but it brilliantly timed tackle. Portilla again here with the corner. Portilla to the far post and rings oh! in! Christian Portilla with the goal, it's 2-1! And for the, perhaps the only time in the match, John Bush misjudges an in-swing and corner kick ever so slightly. We almost saw it earlier from Becker, but this time Portia with the left foot makes it 2-1. It's game on now, Akiza, with six minutes to go. Becker trying to get inside. Here's a chance! Scores! Doesn't send the ball! 2-2! Two -two. The equalizer in the final five minutes of stoppage time! Devin Sandoval salvages it, and let's look at the goal. What a touch. Devin Sandoval, the savior of the night for the Deltas. John Bush left standing in awe. After all those great saves he had early on, it's 2-2 in the final couple of moments here, maybe two more minutes.